let us uh, create Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay, now let's type Bing Webmaster Tools and uh, go to Webmaster Tools. So you will see this kind of a screen. If you have already added any website to Bing Webmaster Tools, otherwise you will see an option to add site if you have not added any site previously. Okay, so so add site option you have over here. Click on add site, and you have two options. Google Search Console, you can import from Google Search Console. And second thing is add site manually. So I have added a created a video uh, how to import a Google Search Console uh, websites into Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay. Uh, you can check out that video for that. And right now we will set up this manually. Okay. So let's go to Google Webmaster Tools and find out that website which we are going to import. Okay. So this is a website we are going to import now. Okay. So I am adding this URL. This is the site which we are going to add to, you know, Bing, Bing Webmasters. Uh, once you click put the URL, so this is a subdomain which I am adding. You can add your website, the main domain over here, and I click on add. Right. So you have three options over here. First thing is an XML file. So it says you have to upload this. You have to first download into your system and upload this into the root directory. So what does this mean? You have to upload this file, whatever you download from here, right? You, you are downloading from here. And uh, next, you have to go to your cPanel of this particular website, which will be available in your hosting, right? And go to the file manager over there and upload this file directly over there. So that is the process you have to do. Let's go to the hosting cPanel and try to upload there. Okay. Now I'll download this as it is. I am clicking in the downloads. I'll click save here. And next I'll log in into my hosting account. Once you log in into the hosting account, you go to the file manager. So this is a blue host which I am using. But any of the hosting account, you will find the file manager. Now here I am clicking on advanced and I will be able to see the file manager. Okay. So this is a cPanel. This is almost same for all of the hostings uh, available. Um, you can you know go to the cPanel. This is the cPanel here and you will see file manager. I will click on file manager and you have to locate that file of uh, AI forum. Let me just go to this a website and what I do is I'll just upload here and select the file which I have downloaded which is this file right and now it is uploaded right so once come back and just reload that you will be able to find that file so over here right now go back to your Bing webmaster and click on verify right this is one of the verifications method and second verification method is that HTML meta tag so what you need to do is uh, if you are using a WordPress or any custom coded website or any, you will have an option to add, uh, you know, code into the head section before the body section. Okay? It should be in the head section before the body section. So you have to just copy this one over here, this whole code and go on, paste it inside the head section of any website. For example, let's go to this website. This is the website and go to the source, page source. I'm just showing you an example. So here the head section will start. And it will end here. Uh, I'll go to body section over here, right? So the head section is ending here and body section is starting over here. So what you need to do is add that before this head section, right? From, from here to here, anywhere you can add somewhere that particular code. Once you add that, so to access these files, again, you have to go to the cPanel or you can do via FTP method, but it's easy to do. Uh, on our C panel uh, over there, right? And uh, edit the um, you know main file homepage of your uh, website, and you will be able to see all these files. And between head opening and head closing, you can add it anywhere, right? Once you do that, you come to Big Master and click on Verify, right? That is second method. And next method is using CMM record to DNS. So this is again uh, is possible through your uh, your domain provider, right? Wherever this domain is available. 
right? If you have purchased it on GoDaddy or Bluehost or Namecheap, whichever website it is, what you need to do is go to your uh, domain, log into your domain, and you will be able to find DNS settings. Let's say it's a GoDaddy. Go to the DNS settings over there and add a CNAME record. You will see multiple options of adding TXT record, CNAME record, or there are different types of records you will be able to see there. But just add the uh, CNAME record over here. And this is the, you know, this is the particular name you have to add there and come and verify here, right? Uh, since we are following this method, XML method, now I will go and click on verify. You will be able to see the verification because I have uploaded this file into the root folder of this particular uh, website. Now I am clicking verify. Congratulations, site is added successfully, right? So now I have added the site successfully and I click on done. Uh, on the left side, you will be able to see that site over here, right? This is, this got added, right? So once I click on, you will not see any of the data because you just added this. So it says you have to wait for at least 48 hours so that you should be seeing some data over here, right? And all the options over here will be almost similar to Google Search Console. You have a URL inspection. If you are, any of the URLs is not indexed, command, you know, uh, fetch over here. Uh, put that URL and click on inspect, it will be fetching it instantly, right? Next thing is Site Explorer, you will see, uh, let's just go to an old site and see what all options are there, right? URL fetching, you have Site Explorer, it will show all the, you know, folders, files inside the site and uh, how many are indexed, how many you have a warning stage, how many are excluded from indexing, right? How many URLs are there in total, how many clicks, impressions, all these data is available over here. And next you have sitemaps. Uh, right, so you have to add the sitemap since you have verified the uh, website. So you have to click on submit sitemap and add the sitemap URL over here and click on submit so that you know Bing's Bing knows all the URLs uh, which is present on your site for easy, uh, you know, um, crawling of your URLs and indexing on the Bing search engine. Right, next is index now. So this is basically um, a new feature or maybe a, a, a feature which is very helpful uh, to. You know, instantly submit your URL uh, into uh, Bing Webmaster so that it helps in a faster indexing uh, uh, and displaying on the Bing search engine. Right. Next is backlinks. It shows the backlink same as or uh, which is which you which your website has got the same as the Google Search Console keyword research. You can do the keyword research over here, country, language, device wise. You can see the data. Right. Top insights. It shows what are the technical. Uh, issues uh, you have it on your website. You have high severity errors, you have low severity and moderate severity, right? So you have to resolve all of these errors. You can see may, many pages have identical titles which we need to resolve. So most of the images doesn't have a alt tag over here. So we need to resolve all this. Next is site scan. You can start the site scan and it will analyze and give you all the issues, uh, you know, there on your website. And next you have crawl control. You can control your crawling rate of the website. Okay. Or from here, what is the, you can see here the, all the timings when the, you know, crawling happens. Next is block URLs. You can block all the URLs which you don't want to be on the, uh, you know, uh, Bing search engine, right? For some time. This is temporary blocking. And this is robots TXT tester. You can check whether Bing is accessible. Your website is accessible by Bing or not. Okay. Next is uh, copyright removal. If there are any copyrights, there are any um, websites who have flagged you for copyright, you will see all those uh, details over here, right? So that's that's most of the thing. The next is user management. You can give access to different people over here, right? So that's the overall thing. Thank you for watching the video.